running back, and you know, pub published in, in the local newspaper when he was in high school. And I settled with a problem where nobody is staying in my house. Um, said, well, if that's what you really want, Marvin, there's nothing that we can do. He is also the kind of person that if he say this is really what I want, he pursued what he wants, irregardless of what it is. If he thinks it is the right thing to do, he doesn't. I was born in the Philippines. I was born in the squatters. Okay. I was, San Andres, okay. I was born in San Andres, okay. and I was given an opportunity, I was given a chance, I was given one chance, this small, I could have been a slaughter boy, a street kid, or I could have been, you know, a millionaire, millionaire son, and when I was growing up, I always seen that, I always seen two worlds, when I came down here, and I lived in this house, I was separated from the people. For the first time, I was really separated. And you know what? When I went down there, from having it all, to having nothing, I learned poverty, I've experienced hunger, and you know one thing? I don't want that to happen in Kalihi, in our district. I want them to have opportunities. I worked in three years in campaigning. First in Kobayashi's, right? Then Donovan's. Then this last year, like over 50 campaigns I worked in. And you know what? One thing they all in common, they want change. So please support us. Because I'm, it's not for me. It's for the community. All I am is just the face of it. This is my passion. This is my drive, like what my mom said. I could be anything I want to be. A football star. A millionaire, I choose to help the people because that's my legacy for this life I'm going to live. And I hope that when you combine, it will be yours as well. So please, enjoy the food, come talk to me, and thank you again for coming.